December 2015 I reviewed the Coxal Audio X35 and loved it. I also announced a version without the amps but with a higher quality DAC, the X45, which is finally on review here. Coxal Audio uses the same kind of design policies modern car manufacturers use. Platforms. The X35 and X45 use the same front, the same streaming platform, the same FM and DAB Plus tuner and so on. So designing the X45 starts with the same basic setup as used for the X35. But then the audio board is designed to hold a higher quality DAC instead of power amps. That way Novatron, the company that makes Coxal Audio products, can produce a series of devices that all contain a preamp, FM tuner, DAB tuner, MQA DAC, ripper, streamer, burner, digital recorder, Samba NAS, DNA server player and Rune Endpoint. The different models have different levels of audio quality or contain a stereo amp. That's not only handy on designing. Also keeping the firmware up to date is easier this way. It's also easy for me for I can use the same graphics for the front that I used for the X35 for you won't notice this very slight change in brand logo. The X45 is available in both silver and black versions. It measures 44 by 33 by 10 centimeters. The front on the left holds a large rotary encoder for volume. Pressing the knob switches mute on or off. Lower down we find the standby button with indicator light, a 6.3 mm headphone jack, a USB host port for storage devices, an aux in on 3.5 mm jack and the infrared sensor. Above that the slot loading CD drive with eject button. A large section is occupied by the 7 inch TFT color screen that has a resolution of 1024 by 600 pixels. Right of that the rotary encoder to scroll through the menus. Pressing this knob will select the highlighted menu option or pause the player when in playback. Below that four buttons for input selection, return to a higher level in the menu structure, stop and activate menu. This is where the X45 differs clearly from the X35. On the left the IEC main socket with the power switch. Then along the top two sets of analog outputs. One pair balanced on XLR and one single ended pair on RCA. Then an F connector for the FM and DAB antenna, the moving magnet phono input on RCA with ground terminal, the analog line input, three digital inputs, ASEB on XLR, SPDIF on RCA and optical on Toslink. Then the USB input to run the sound from a computer over the X45, a trigger output to switch on a power amp and three digital inputs, ASEBU on XLR, SPDIF on RCA and optical on Toslink again. Further to the right there is an Ethernet socket, the HDMI output to show the contents of the display on a large monitor and also carries the audio. Last but not least there is a USB 2 output to connect an external deck to and two USB 3 host ports for connecting external storage. When we look inside it's a real déjà vu, really like the X35. On the left the same processor board, the same LG optical drive, the same cage for the hard disk and even the same power supply board for the digital part but this time with less components mounted. The analog part again is powered by a toroidal transformer, the rectifying circuit is on the main board which is hidden beneath the other boards. The audio board is different this time since no power amp was integrated. Instead of one ESS Sabre ES9018K2M DAC chip, the X45 uses one per channel. A Burbrown OPA 2114 per channel is used for shaping the signal for proper output. If we compare the inside of the X45 to that of the X35 you can clearly see the platform approach. 
exactly the same processor board, the phono board and the tuner board at the same position, the same toroidal transformer and the same power supply board for the digital part. Of course the X45 lacks some parts since there is no power amplifier to power. And that's the second difference. In the X45 a higher quality DAC board and in the X35 the Class D amp. By the way, the headphone amp of the X45 is more powerful. 500 milliwatts in 32 ohms instead of 100 milliwatts in 600 ohms. As you know, I'm no headphone expert, but being able to drive lower impedance headphones will give you a larger choice of headphones that will sound good. Like with the X35, the number of functions on the X45 is impressive. Of course, it is a preamp with built in MQA deck that has the aforementioned two analog and four digital inputs plus the internal radio, digital player and thus airplay and rune rendering functions. Ripping is easy but you do need to have a hard disk installed to do so. After inserting the CD, the display shows the album and tracks it found and offers to change the file format to be used. I chose FLAC and accepted the metadata and ripping started. You can scroll through the cover art in three sizes and use a character interface with many ways of sorting. By artist and album, on album name, on composer and so on. Using the remote control you can also jump directly to a title, artist or for instance composer by typing the first character. Here the numeric keys on the remote double as they do on phones. Pressing the 4 gives you the G, pressing it twice gives you the H and so on. The remote control has many keys giving direct access to the myriad of functions available. For instance, dimming the screen brightness can be done using the rotary encoder to scroll through the menus, but you can also press the green brightness button on the remote. The same goes for showing the now playing screen, lyrics and so on. The Dutch exhibitor told me Cocktail Audio users often use the infrared remote instead of the also available iOS or Android app. That app is of average quality, not bad and easy accessible but somewhat limited in features. With the X35 I said the app is a tad slow when loading cover art. Having improved the Wi-Fi at home did really speed up cover art loading. But you could of course add Rune to your setup. You in fact just add computational power in the shape of an external computer. You could use the computer you already own or for instance add a Rune Rock server or ELAC Discovery. See the links in the show notes. And you also need to buy the subscription to Rune, except when using the ELAC. You could also use an iOS device since the X45 also supports AirPlay and of course MQA is not supported here since iTunes doesn't support FLAC and AirPlay may do sample rate conversion. Again I use the X35 footage since it is fully identical to the X45. If you already have music on your computer and want to add it to the X45, you log on to the X45 using the standby protocol, just like you would approach a second computer in the file manager. You will see two volumes, local storage and music DB. The latter is read only and that is where the X45 stores the music it has indexed. Local storage is where you find the hard disk and the net shares the X45 has access to. Normally only the HHD1, hard drive 1, will be accessible. There I created a map called import and copied the music to that I wanted to store on the X45. When the copying is done, you go to the browser on the X45 and access the HHD1 there. Go to the import map, select the menu button and select import as shown here. You could choose to have the X45 copy or move the music to the music DB volume and whether you want the map there to carry the album name, which you really want. You see other maps in HHD1. The cover art map I made to copy album R2 that couldn't be retrieved from the web. From the music database you can then select the cover art from this map. The My Audio CD is the map an album initially is ripped to and My Recording is where your recordings are stored. 
about that further on. You can of course copy a ripped CD or recording to your computer. All the inputs can be digitally recorded to the hard disk or shared volume on the NAS or computer. Currently hard disks up to 8 terabytes are available which could easily hold my Titanic music collection, I think. For Analog recordings the sample rate can be set up to 192 kHz 24 bits which is also the highest sampling rate for the digital in and outputs. Recording from digital sources will be in the original sampling rate. From the hard disk the X45 can play back PCM files up to 24 bit 384 kHz and DSD files up to DSD 256. MQA files are also fully decoded when playing through the X45 player. The online music services Tidal, Deezer, Cobus, Arable, Napster and Spotify Connect are supported. The new Hi-Res audio streaming service and Amazon Music is announced for a next firmware update. I have tried Tidal since I have a Tidal subscription and that worked fine including decoding the MQA files on Tidal. This is where the X45 clearly differs from the X35. When I rated the X35 in my reference set 2, the X45 deserves a place in my reference set 1, albeit in the lo lower regions. But don't forget it's a versatile machine costing only 2100 euros. When compared to the standard streamer in set 1, the SOTM SMS200 Ultra streamer and MyTech Brooklyn DAC costing almost double and has far less functions. There is a difference in timbre and resolution. The X45 offers more low end but not at the expense of loss in resolution. The lows go deep and are very well defined. In the mids and highs the resolution is not up to par with the SOTM MyTech combo, but during the review period I never felt shortcomings when playing the X45. I actually checked the price twice. Afraid I was mistaken. You are not only buying a very good sounding streamer, but so much more, including a digital recorder and a phono input for if you want to record vinyl at any sampling rate up to 192 kHz. You can also record from radio, be it FM or DAB. It even plays DAB Plus at a more or less reasonable sound quality, and that's not easy. And as with all cocktail audio products you can use it as a standalone device but also as a music server to provide other streamers in the house with music, whether it is Sonos, Blue Sound, Lean or what have you. It could even be used as a NAS for a full Rune installation. Install Rune Rock at an Intel NUC, have it take the music files from the X45 and stream the music back to the X45 for reproduction. The DAC also does full MQA decoding, but if new technologies evolve you can also connect it to another newer type DAC using AES, EBU, SPDIF, optical or USB. That's what I meant by Swiss army knife in the title of this video. I do keep looking for interesting products and subjects. I don't do reviews on uninteresting products, I rather spend my time researching techniques that will bring you further improvements. So if you want to follow my quest, subscribe to this channel or follow me on Twitter, Facebook or Google+. If you like this video please consider supporting the channel through Patreon or PayPal. Any financial support is much appreciated. The links are in the comments. Helping to help even more people enjoy music at home by telling your friends on the web about this channel. I am Hans Beekhuizen, thank you for watching and see you in the next show or on the HBproject.com. And whatever you do, enjoy the music. by telling your friends on the web about this channel. 
I'm Hans Beekhuizen, thank you for watching and see you in the next show or on the HBproject.com. And whatever you do, enjoy the music.